Hey and welcome to this Easy Computer Fixes channel and this is the channel where we'll help you fix computer problems of all sorts and uh, today we'll talk about the Microsoft Configuration uh, tab in the MS Config, the Start tab. Um, not a lot of people know about this but it's a great 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 little place to go when you have computer problems. Uh, if your computer has startup problems of some sort, errors while you're uh, actually starting up and you're wondering what you can do about it, uh, one of the first <clears throat> things of course is to um, check if the, com the, the error message is new. Is it uh, brand new after you installed a new piece of software? Uh, did it show up after a uh, Microsoft Windows update? Uh, then you can actually uh, use that to um, help yourself and uh, uninstall the piece of software that's causing an error or uh, maybe using the uh, restore feature in Windows to actually go back in time. So uh, how do you fix uh, startup things uh, if you don't know where they come from? Uh, one of the things you should try is MS Config, Microsoft Configuration. What you need to do if you're in XP, uh, Vista, or Windows 7, it's all the same. In Windows 8, there's a different way of doing things, uh, and it's available uh, on the official Windows 8 channel also. There's a video for that. But if you're on XP, Vista, and 7, go into your Start button at the bottom left. Type msconfig on your computer. So msconfig and type enter and you'll be uh, sent to this little configuration window click on the startup tab don't touch any other tab uh, that's a word of caution because you can actually really do bad stuff to your computer and prevent it from starting so go to the startup tab and look at the list of programs there uh, one of the um, problems I often see on the startup uh, tab is when a program has an error at Windows Startup very often you'll know what program it is so for example if it says iTunes had a program a problem at startup well you know it's iTunes so you can look, look at the you know startup list and just take out the check marks before iTunes for example so if you've got an error message and it tells you what software is having that error message go on the list and take the check mark out of that piece of software that's causing problems at startup that's the first thing that you could do another uh, thing that if you just don't know get a, a strange error message uh, is removing the startup items in the startup tab. Now keep in mind that you usually don't want to remove everything from this list. You want to keep it to a minimum. That's that's the best thing to do, but not everything needs to be removed here. So um, if you don't know exactly what the program does, what I suggest is that you take out the check mark one at a time, click the apply button, click OK and when you click OK it says you want to restart so click the restart button and when it starts again check if everything is OK and if so then uh, make sure that you are uh, up and running with no problems the reason why I want you to do this one at a time is that if something goes wrong because you took out a startup item by removing them one at a time you will know that the problem is caused by the last thing that you removed so uh, you gotta be careful with that um, so unless you know what you're doing go one at a time I personally know that um, I will remove for example this 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 Microsoft Office Adobe Reader and Manager um, I will leave because it lets you know when updates are available that's very important um, anything that I don't need I will take out and things that I don't know I will keep there 
you can of course at the top move the tabs uh, left and right to see more of the information and where actually in Windows things are going so that if you don't know what uh, they are you can have an idea by looking at where the program is going to and uh, so um, minimize to a maximum in this list be careful you will need some check marks um, no computers that I've seen you can take out all the check marks and that's it um, the disable all is available for one reason is that if your computer just refuses to start correctly you can just click disable all and see if it runs okay if it does then you can slowly put back the check marks and do kind of a reverse that of what I've just said um, an example of what you don't want to take out the check mark if your antivirus program is uh, there if you see Norton or if you see McAfee don't take out the check mark you're going to remove the virus program which is not a good idea if you want to keep safe on your computer so go slowly one check mark at a time there are some computer errors at startup that are fixed by this um, startup tab in, in MS uh, Microsoft configuration um, and I've actually encountered as a tech guy uh, many situations where um, error messages at the startup were removed by just taking out a few check marks here um, one of the problems that you might encounter you uh, might have uninstalled a program and now suddenly uh, the computer says hey uh, every time you start up missing a file here or I can't find this uh, folder well very often in the uh, startup tab that's where you'll get information on what's trying to start up and you can remove the little check mark so that it prevents the computer from searching uh, that file or folder uh, at startup so MS config great little tab uh, in the startup and keep in mind it has another cool function is that if your computer is low in memory, RAM memory um, or if your computer is running slow this is also a great tab you can take all the check marks and really put them to the minimum that will prevent your computer from loading up a lot of stuff that's not really necessary and once you've done you just click apply click OK and click the restart button so that your computer is going to restart and give you in uh, you know start up with all those little programs that you just took out they're just not going to show up anymore or start with your computer keep in mind if you're in Windows XP your computer at startup will show you that you're in a, a special Microsoft configuration uh, tab and that you're in a special mode um, for starting up just click the little check mark below the message that says don't ask me again or just don't tell me again about this and you'll be okay uh, it's totally normal in Windows XP to have that message if you've uh, tweaked the MS config startup tab if you enjoy these videos that help you understand and learn more how, and how to fix problems with your computer click the subscribe button lots lots more coming up hey you have a computer problem send us a private private message um, and we'll try to help you and put a video online if we can to show you how to fix your computer if possible some uh, problems are just difficult or impossible to really make a video of but uh, lots of small problems that people encounter every day are actually very easy to um, fix with little tutorial videos that are going to show you how to do the, the, the fix of problems. And so hope you come back to the Easy Computer Fixes channel. Bye-bye.